Now this is the place to be. My kitchen. This is my kitchen. And you know what? I'm going to cook for you. Like I said I was going to do. Now the thing is, let's just call this, you see my nickname that the fans are giving me is Dre. D-R-E. You know, the end of Andre. So uh, why don't we call this Dre's Mysterious Flavor. I'll show you what I mean. We are going to make some pasta and some chicken. And I'm going to spice it up for you right now. First of all, you've got to boil the water, right? As I've done, I prepared it. People say, get a pinch of salt and put it. What is a pinch of salt? You don't pinch the salt, you grab it. You throw it in there. That's how you do it. Now, this chicken over here, make sure the chicken's washed because you, know, you don't want any of that smelly stuff happening. And what you do is you wash it down with a lemon because what that does is it not only gets rid of the smell, but it, it kind of, once it's soaking in the water, it's just beautiful. It soaks up in its own juice plus lemon. Oh yeah, I'm telling you, you're going to like this. But you can't have any yet, just wait. No, just grab some herbs and you just throw them on. That just adds a bit of flavour, you know what I mean? It's just want plain chicken, who wants a plain chicken? So, put it in the boiling water, like I'm doing, with all the herbs and the lemon and all the little, cute little stuff. <laughs> just put it in there. Now you let that boil for about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, when, till it's all white. See, I don't like anything with blood in it and stuff, so you've got to make sure that it's all cooked. Now you see Italians, they like to eat a lot of garlic. And they come out with the attitude of, hey, you don't like the way I smell? I wasn't talking to you anyway. Get out of here. Okay. So, now the chicken's kind of been boiling for a while. You just take it out, put it on your plate, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to do something a little creative here. We are going to cook the pasta in the juice of the chicken and the juice of the lemon. So what it is, is the pasta is going to soak it up and it's going to give it a bit of a different flavour. Break the pasta, let it go all over the kitchen, and just place it in there. Stir it around for a bit. Now this should only take about 8 or 10 minutes. If you want to add like chicken stock cube in there just to give it a bit of extra flavour, you can do that. But I ain't going to do that. So what you do after that, you see, is you dice up the mushrooms, you put a bit of herbs in, a bit of those Thai things, put it all in the water, let it all boil. You make the pasta, you make the sauce. Now I'm going to show you how to make the sauce. The sauce is wicked, right? Put one huge spoon in. If there's for one person, one huge spoon, stir it around. This is wicked. Right? Now this is, like I said, a very simple sauce, but it's very effective, right? This here, now this is a magic ingredient. See how kind of non-fat this is. You've only used one spoon of butter. Everything else you've used has been no fat at all. And this is tomato puree. All it contains is tomatoes. Fung it in there, you know what I mean? Thing is, you're going to eat this stuff. You ain't going to look at it. You're going to do all that kind of stuff. Stir it around. Ah, oh, this tastes so good. My mouth is just like watering already. What you do, right, is after you kind of been frying this up a bit, it becomes a bit thick. Have a look. Have a look. Come in. See how it's a bit thick there, right? Now that's not going to be that good. What you do is you swig it over here, put a bit of water in it. It's all cool. You're testing yourself, you know what I mean? All the time. You've got to see if you can get everything done by the time the other stuff's cooked. It's really wicked. Now you add the chicken into this sauce. You see, you don't have to do it this way. You can have the chicken separately on top of the pasta. But when you mix it in with that sauce, oh man, it's wicked. Get some mozzarella cheese now. I use mozzarella because it gives that pizza effect. You know, so it all like hangs out of your mouth and stuff. It's wicked. But put some down the bottom, right? Because in that way, when you put the pasta on top, it all melts underneath. And then, grab the pasta. Put it on top. Oh, God, I'm getting so hungry, you know. This ain't fair. Hold on. All right. Let's just grab the pasta. Like I said, put it all on top like that. Don't decorate it. You can't decorate pasta anyway, can you? Because it's all over the place, like my hair stuff. Anyway. Alright. See that? Do that. Get some more of this. Put it on top. It's getting ready. Alright? If you want, you can, you know, add a bit of herbs if you want to be, like, professional and stuff. And say that you're a real chef and a real cook. See that? Bit of, see that? It's just wicked, isn't it? Now, this, this is the icing on the cake, as they say. Don't need no spoons. Be cool in the 90s. Put it on top like that. So what do you think of that then? Ten minutes, and it's yours. Well, it's actually mine, but...
you see all the mozzarella bits you see it gives it that kind of pizza effect anyway we're going to throw the mysterious girl while I'm eating this and uh, this video was filmed in probably my favorite place in the whole world it was a place called PP Island uh, in Thailand it's where they filmed some of the James Bond movies beautiful place tropical lagoon and the girl that's in this video her name is Champagne have a look at it it's wicked 